which is the multi-sub-object multi versus your standard um, material editor setting uh, for texturing. So I'm going to select a box here and just go ahead and create a simple simple box. Go ahead and do 64 by 64 by 64. And let's zoom the extents here. And then I'm just going to do a quick. Now I'm going to do this because I'm going to what what I'm doing next is just doing what anyone would usually do when they're making creating a model, and then you know realizing well I've got a lot of sides now, a lot of lot more uh, polygons, uh, you know, vert, vertices in, in you know on my model now. So uh, so let me go to editable poly, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create. Um, I'm going to create. Actually, I don't need to do that. Just do select all, and I'm going to first. I'm going to bevel, and I'm going to bevel. Oops. Sorry, zero. Bevel. Ah, I think I see what I did wrong here. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to bevel all sides at one time, but by polygon, I want to do by polygon, and then I'm going to I'll just do a minus six and then say OK. Yeah, I had to do it by polygon if I was going to do all 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 uh, sides at one time. Check the box, and then I'm going to extrude everything by polygon. And let's go ahead and just do that by minus four, and we'll check that. Okay, so now that we've done uh, this create and given it more um, I mean I've, I could have done a simple, a simple crate here right with um, with just the six sides and giving it six IDs but um, but there's more to um, I guess it's a, the better way to describe is just a better efficient way of of texturing um, something like this, this is symmetrical right so so when when we go uh, when we want to place different IDs on an object like this, we want to go to our material ID uh, in our, I'm sorry, we want to go to our uh, material editor and instead of it being a standard texturing um, default, we want to select multi-sub object. So you click standard, say okay, you click, uh, you select multi-sub object, um, in this case, it's asking us, do we want to keep old materials? There, there aren't any old materials. Um, in this case, I'm just going to say discard, just for the heck of it. And now I have, by default, ten IDs here ready to be set for my object. Now, my object could essentially have more, uh, more faces, but. I mean, more IDs than, than what it started with, but in this case, it should not. And let's double check that. We've got one and one covers everything that we did on that side, right? So even when I beveled and, and uh, extruded, it kept the ID the same on that face. So if I go up to two and select that ID, it shows me, and you know, let me deselect just so you can get an idea of what I'm doing in terms of selecting. So if I select ID two, same thing here, so on and so forth. Now, when you're unwrapping and you're doing something, you're trying to unwrap on some faces that are perpendicular to one another. You want to avoid that uh, because it's it's easier to to unwrap uh, faces like this. That are parallel to each other, and that way uh, you get better alignment. But in any event, that's how you get your IDs, and 
what I would start doing if I wanted to start, you know, in, in the case of texturing this this particular crate with uh, the added uh, modifiers is I would take, I would unwrap the faces that are parallel to each other first. So I would do these edges first, or the lips rather. That's one way of describing it. I might even say, let's do the front of this like so, uh, the, the face itself. But I might, I might want to put something on one side of this that doesn't say something on the other, right? But in any event, that's how you uh, get your sub-object, multi-sub-object. Uh, line up and of course you can add and subtract as you go along. Right now uh, as it is by default creating this cube gave us six IDs for this cube and we can add and subtract as we go along but um, I could just stick with the six and then work around uh, everything uh, once I start you know unwrapping uh, this this cube. I hope this uh, helps and thank you for watching.